Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Ryan Willard and I'm an architect from the Thinking Hand studio. And as you can see behind me, I am standing in front of the Metropolitan Opera where I've had the good privilege to be able to spend the last few hours watching their latest uh, production. Absolutely incredible experience. And I'm actually standing in the, the center here of the Performing Arts in New York, in the Lincoln Center. It was a, um, a development that was built perhaps in the sort of around the early 60s and had a collection of some of New York's finest architects uh, of the time putting together the, each one of these buildings and putting together the master plan. And what's quite fascinating is behind me we've got, I think it was Wallace Harrison, who was the great American architect who did the Lincoln Center itself and did the master plan with Philip Johnson. And we've also got one of Philip Johnson's buildings behind me, which is now the home to the New York City Ballet the, in the Cock Theatre. And we've also got the David Geffen Hall, which was done by Max Abramovich uh, in the late 60s as well, which is now called the David Geffen Hall and home to the New York Philharmonic. It's also quite interesting, David Geffen, the owner of Geffen Records, who donated about 100 million pounds or 100 million dollars uh, in recent times to ensure the sort of upkeep and renovations of the place. We've also got behind me in the corner there, we've got the Juilliard School, which has recently been renovated by Deliverance for Video. Um, and the whole place, I mean, what's fascinating to me is the whole place is kind of like, like it looks like the Acropolis. And it, and it is, it's the Acropolis of the performing arts. You've got all these kind of great institutions from the ballet to the Metropolitan Opera, to the Juilliard School, to the New York Pub, uh, Public Library of Performing Arts, all centered around this fantastic, beautiful public space, which is it's epic. And particularly in the scale and density of New York, it becomes particularly pertinent um, space and, a, and it, it has more impact. And there's always, I'm always talking about this intimate relationship between public space and performance space. And here we have it all kind of melded into one where we've got these great performing arts um, uh, buildings and institutions all surrounded around a great public space. Um, and it, for me, it's one of my favorite public spaces in, uh, in New York. It's always filled with people. There are always people kind of, um, you know, moving across the city. It's right off Broadway. It's a busy thoroughfare. Um, you've got this kind of nice fountain in the middle of it. And you're also aware of the passage of time. You have these great sweeping arcs of shadows that move across the, uh, the piazza during the day. It's nice in the evenings. It's a rendezvous point. Um, and it really is one of those great performance spaces in itself where people kind of come to watch other people. I'm often finding myself sitting over in the corner over there just watching people sitting down checking their phones um, as are loads of people also sitting around the fountains and watching the performance of the city unfold. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some images of some of the interiors of the buildings and let you enjoy that and if you ever get a chance to come down to the Lincoln Center whilst you're in New York and even more if you actually get a chance to go inside and watch a performance I highly recommend it. Yeah. 